only 2,643 miles. Let's go. Not a lot at all. Yeah, but the mornings are cold. That's what I hate most. I much rather than walk in this super hot air than wake up freezing cold and everything's wet. Um, I think we might get a pair of gloves just because it's, it's pretty hard to get moving when your fingers are so numb. Yeah, I think we're going 18 kilometers today. We'll see. Um, so two days to Mount Laguna. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good today. I'm going decently fast. And it's kind of like yesterday. Shrubs on the trails. Um, but it's like a continuous incline up until uh, Mount Laguna. But hitting Mount Laguna is going to be a pretty big milestone, I think. At least for me. And probably the rest of my family, because it's like the first big uh, <clears throat> accomplishment. So I made it into Boulder Oaks Campground. It's almost 10. Um, trail magic, I got lemonade. And there's some um, like Jolly Ranchers. So I made it to pretty much the top. I'm like two kilometers, one kilometer away from. There's one more peak. It's up Kitchen Creek. That rhymes. Um, but there's falls at like the campground before. So I'm gonna go down to the waterfall. Um, just on gut hook, people said it's nice. Uh, hopefully there's no rattlesnakes in this. So it's definitely lower than eight inches, and that was reported three days ago. Um, but I'm just gonna take like a little break, go sit over there, and then uh, two more to kitchen, and then just wait. So that was definitely refreshing. Um, geez, that's felt nice. Like splashing water in your face, like in those commercials. That's like best feeling ever, right here. Um, there's also a campground here, Camp Spa, for about one tent. Um, so this would be a super nice spot to camp. Uh, if I would have known about it, but yeah, definitely come down here and camp. Um, and then the next day you can just go to Laguna. So I'm at the Kitchen Creek, now I'm at the bottom. The trail is just up there. Um, I just have my feet in the stream here and I was eating my granola bar and then the wrapper fell in the water and I tried running towards it to get it but the, yeah the wrapper fell in the water I tried getting it um oh, these rocks are so slippery especially when they're wet um and I fell and then I cut my hand it kind of stings but it's not too deep it's not even bleeding a lot, so I'll be fine. Um, I saw two dogs. There was a guy walking two dogs, and they were just in there because it's all dirty and stuff. But the dogs also pooped on the trail, and the guy didn't clean it up. Um, so that kind of sucks. But someone's coming down. But I'll have to show off my muscles, keep my shirt off. <laughs>
Good morning, we're about two kilometers out from Fred Canyon. Um, and we're going to Laguna today, which is only like 13K. So yeah, that's why I said one mile. Uh, it's about 3.30 and my new favorite thing is probably walking in the evening because it gets a lot cooler um, and just the sky looks really nice with like the sun setting and a lot more birds come out and this really makes the surroundings a lot more peaceful and nice. The only thing I really say about hiking with my mom is that's hard to meet people because she just talks so much and doesn't really give me the chance to go out and meet, yeah, just meet people. Like, I saw like a, what are they, woodpecker. Um, go under the tree and then I saw it like take something and it turns out they're acorns. Um, it must be the squirrels that are putting them in here, but that's like super great to see. Okay, so here we are in Mount Laguna. We got food at the post office oh, yeah. slash store up there. Um, overpriced and the owner isn't the friendliest. But luckily we're at this place. It's, it's not open yet, but it's the outpost it will be um, by Valley Farm, Mount Laguna, just before the store. So it's a long way, and they said they'll be open in three weeks. Um, but they have Wi-Fi, and the lady let us use it. So I'm pretty sure they sell like it's gonna be like the same thing as the store up there, but hopefully cheaper. Um, but yeah, like four bucks for a bag of chips. Um, let's see what else the this sour cream and chive mashed potatoes 325 pop tarts i think how much for pop tarts six dollars for like eight no, five four four dollars for eight four dollars for eight um so just everything's overpriced sadly but yeah just wi-fi right now i'm um, gonna share a tent site with some other people So it's pretty much 12 o'clock. Um, we had breakfast, so we left that. Um, I was, that was at the Lone Pine Lodge, I think. Um, honestly, it's mid. Uh, there was like one guy in the beginning, one worker. Um, and there's probably like maybe 20 hikers, so he was a bit overwhelmed. Um, but he tried his hardest to, to cut the workers were super nice, but I got a coffee with eggs benny and a side of pancakes. Yeah, side of pancakes, like one pancake was five dollars. Eggs benny was I think fourteen. And all four of us it was hundred hundred American. Um, pretty expensive. So it's 4.20. Uh, we just stopped for a break at the lookout, which is just back there. It's two kilometers away from the Penny Pines spigot. Um, had some lunch and then fixing up blisters and stuff, but here's, uh, the desert. 
So at the, there's a lookout that way. And you could like see far into the desert, which was kind of cool and like scary looking. And I always think of like Rango, the movie, like the cartoon lizard. Um, I always think of that when I see the desert, because that's a pretty good movie, even if you're an adult. Pretty deep, deep meaning in there. Miles. Not a fit. Oh, yeah, fit. Here we are at Pioneer Mail picnic area. Um, it's supposed to be a day camp only. Yeah, today was pretty good. Seemed easy for me. Of course, Jill and Mom struggled. Um, <laughs> no, I waited for more. Yeah, they're doing pretty bad. But there's a nice view <laughs> over waited. there. For dinner, uh, we're going to have croissants <laughs> that we got from the store. So, croissants here. Uh, but I'm still pretty full from the meal, the breakfast. Here I am at the Sunrise Trailhead. There's a water uh, tower. Pretty cold, but it, it was a bit slow. Um, but water is water. Seven twenty AM we are leaving the camp now. Um me and Charlie cowboyed. It was I don't know if it was because we cowboyed, uh, but I couldn't get any sleep. And super windy last night. But the sky was clear. So I was able to see lots of shooting stars. So I got lots of witches. at the scissors crossing. There was about three more kilometers. We just finished the big up and down and yeah I got saw the peak. We are going to stage stage cart something. Stage house something. It's an RV park. It's four miles that way when you get to the crossing. And it is 10.50 per person for a tent. It's happening so fast with the road, right? Because you just yes. walk and it's big stuff. <laughs> so I just went in the pool. Pretty refreshing. Um, it's cold once you get first step. But once you get in, then it's like super nice. Um, there's lots of bees in there. Because there's like no water. I don't know where they get the water. They must have a well. Um... Yeah, but definitely come here. Um, it is cheaper, uh, but there's just not a lot of shade. I think this is gonna be the end of this video. I wasn't able to get the pie in this one, but I will show it in the next one. So you get the free pie, mom's pie. Yeah, but that will be in the next vlog. So I hope you enjoyed this one. A kilometer 64 to 120, I think.